Last week, we built this, the new and improved bell board. We've got my five bells on here with all the wiring tucked away on the back. All the bells are functional, and all we have to do is hook it up to a battery and some buttons. Now the only thing is, we don't have the buttons, and we also don't have a place to put this. So in this video, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now before we start building anything, it's time to figure out where this thing's gonna go. Now we can see here on the back, I've got my six terminals. We've got our common, and then our five pins for each bell. So this will make it really easy to build the controller. We'll only need six wires going to the controller wherever we decide to build that. So I've thought about going back to the original clips in the shelf here, and we see I have room for four pins here. There's one for five. It would kind of cover this up, which would look kind of weird, and have to move all these over, which would then block the space for where I want to mount the bell. Before we do any mounting of the bell board, we're going to build the panel buttons for the board. Now this is a piece of kind of uh, almost like wood that we're gonna use to mount all the buttons to. We're gonna mount this to my shelf and put all five buttons in here and hook it all up. So we'll build the panel buttons, we'll get all that situated and then we'll go hook it all up and see if it works. Here we have the five buttons and the five bells put into place. The board is mounted and this little panel is mounted. And now it's time to just do a few little tweaks to it. Maybe add some labels and it should be up and going. So in the next video, we're going to check out the completed progress. We'll see you guys next time.